So I am down at the range today with a 5.7 and 9mm handgun. This is the Palmetto State Armory Rock, which has become one of my favorite 5.7 handguns. And this is actually a German Walther P38, an old school World War II classic, chambered in 9mm. We're going to be shooting both of them at the side of this Honda Accord, particularly the door, to check out the difference between penetration and damage to the car to see which one is more effective. Let's take some shots. First up, 115 grain 9mm from about 5 yards. Then we will switch to 124 grain. And I've got a few different rounds of 5.7 as well. But let's start taking some shots. So here are our two entrance holes. They punched through the door, both of them. It looks like one embedded itself in the door right here or maybe made it through but there are the two holes right there let's check the other side and see what happened i'm going to fire two of each of the shots allowing it to um kind of give two examples so we have one right there and we actually have one that right there it hit the plastic and it stopped it actually might be somewhere in the grass i'm going to dig around and try to hunt for it so here is the actual bullet this is a crazy result. See if I can focus in on it for you guys. So that made it through both of the doors. It's still really hot and then stopped on this plastic piece. So that is our first results, 115 grain, nine millimeter. Now 124 grain NATO spec ammunition, two more shots. So here are two shots right there on the door. When we open it up, we see we have one that went into the seat and a hole right there. It looks like another impact down and cracked it down there as well. So it looks like both made it through, but let's see if they punctured all the way through the door. This is pretty darn cool. And yes, so we have two more hits and it looks like it stopped the plastic again and dropped right here. That is crazy that they did the same thing. So all indication says once it passes through the second door, this simple piece of plastic is actually stopping the round so it doesn't have much energy, but I don't know if I would trust that. So let's dig around and see if we can find the next round in here. And it is right here. So this one, you can, oh, that's really hot. Okay, that one's really, really hot. That one is just a different uh, type of round. 124 grain definitely flattened out a little bit but kept its shape still but lost all momentum once it punched through the doors next up 5.7 this is the 40 grain v-max round made by fn the blue polymer tipped round so we're going to be shooting that but before we get to that i want to give a huge shout out to nautilus ammunition for sponsoring the nine millimeter and nine millimeter for other videos really helps out the channel i've got the code 704 tactical to save you some money definitely check them out more info on the campsite page but let's take these shots right here two rounds of this stuff So here are two rounds right here. They punctured through the door and it looks like, okay, they embedded themselves in the seat right there, but let's see if they made it through. It looks like it hit towards the door jam, so that may have been unfair. Oh no, so we have a fresh dent. One must have kicked out over here and it did not go all the way through. So it looks like they went right there. And yeah, maybe one went right into this door jam, which is extra material that the other ones didn't have to go through. So we will try again, but it looks like there's an impact right there. But I wonder if they started fragmenting. But again, we're gonna switch to the next round. The next round we're gonna be shooting is the 27 grain hollow point made by FN as well, but I've got one more 40 grain VMAX and I'm gonna put them back to the left a little bit more on the door. So that top one or the first one I'm gonna shoot will be the 40 grain VMAX just to see if we hit that door jam. So there are three shots. Looks like we've got some clear penetration and we have fresh holes in the door right there. So those are good hits. And we have more dents and a new hole. So we finally had one 
come through right there and those are some fresh dents let's see what happened on the inside here so it looks like one came a little bit low dented right there in the car door i wonder if we have any rounds actually in here i'm gonna have to dig around a little bit but in a nutshell there is a clear winner when it comes to penetration through this car door and that is the nine millimeter whether it be the 115 or the 124 grain it seems to penetrate every single time it also seems to hold its form now the 57 did a very good job and still had a ton of energy on the other side of this door so it was definitely effective through the first door um, so that is something to consider i just wanted to do this test to see what was going on i thought it was pretty cool results if you like this style of video let me know your thoughts in the comments section below um, i find that really interesting we got this junk car also we're going to be continuing to do tests so let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below thanks for watching have a good one